Oh, oh man. Damn. All right, so we got a, I got a couple boats out here today. Uh, just got done modding out the cooling on this Delta Force 35. I put a cooling plate on the vertical mount to add some extra cooling to the ESC, hopefully. Uh, I've also just recently replaced the stuffing tube in this Blackjack 24 and uh, the strut upgraded this, the, the cable and everything. So I, I've got to do some fine tuning to this boat, see if we can't get it running uh, like we had it. So, uh, so yeah, we're just going to kind of start off with that. So if if you if you replaced your stuffing tube and your cable and everything then your boat probably isn't going to ride like it used to so you're going to have to actually dial it in kind of fine tune all your uh, hardware back here so uh so that's what we're going to be doing today just kind of dialing in the strut see if we can't get it running the way we had it previous so Stick around, stick around. Don't blink, don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good. Ring the bells and all them whistles. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's get it on the water. See what she does. Sounds good. Plastic boats give it a weird. Uh, weird sound. Let's see what she does. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's get the GPS on it. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's running better than it ever has. On that light setup she's running good so yeah the last time I had this boat out we spun the cable in the collet I was actually doing a tinker test and tune video <clears throat> I was gonna show the difference in the performance of this boat with a heavy batteries on 6s and the performance of the boat with light batteries on 6s and I had the heavy batteries in first and I think the weight from the batteries actually played a big role in the flex cable um, turning out inside the collet there so <clears throat> it's really really acting nice on on this light setup it handles good turns good see what kind of speed she gets record zero with the with the 6s packs i think it's 63 with the heavy packs and i'm trying to beat 63 miles per hour with a light setup opposed to the heavy setup all right man she's got man it's actually got a lot more power with this upgraded cable i must have been losing some power in that stuffing tube somewhere it might have been uh, uh, restricting the the output of the motor but uh let's see what we can get here Linear throttle. Pegged out for a second there. Man, she is sticking to the water. Nice. All right, one more pass. Let it let it cool down. Yeah, I really think that that aluminum stuffing tube, you know, and me like bending it back and forth trying to get a prime, a prime location, you know, prime setup on my strut. I may have constricted some of the power like from it having a kink in it or something because it actually feels like it's got so much more power now that i replaced the whole uh, flex cable system so let's get another run in here see what it does yes sir buddy Ooh, about lost her hit that little wake <laughs> i hit that little wake about lost it don't get a long run time with these batteries you know but uh but man if she don't get it she scoots and handles so much better with these light batteries in it so let's see let's see what we got with the gps here 
So 53, okay? 53 with the light set up. And, and really, that's fast enough for this little boat. Uh, I had it up to 63 one time, but it handles better with this light set up. So much better. Oh my gosh. And the strut. I actually like this strut on it, man. I was worried. I mean, it don't look that great because it's a strut that I just had on hand and I kind of filed off some material to get it to work right. But geez, it was really turning, son. Woo. 53 53 i'm gonna get another pass in here see what she does Oop. my rudder back here i sealed up the strut where it, it attaches to the transom and uh no leaks so if you guys have this boat i would definitely consider taking the rudder off the transom and your strut and sealing that up with some type of adhesive sealant whether it's silicone or uh you know anything because pro boat does not do that it, it's just bare so that's where a lot of my water was coming from you know i figured pro boat would have sealed it up but they didn't so take a look at yours make sure it's uh, not leaking through the transom Good. So much more nimble with that light pack in it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Corn. Good. Yes, sir, buddy. Got that one pass in let's just uh oh that sounds nice let's see what we did let's see what we did 55 55 huh it's not not 63 but it's uh that's a good number for a 24 inch boat 55 miles an hour Whew, you can't beat it you can't beat it that's not even uh fine tuning the strut or anything so let's check her temps because i do feel a little bit of heat coming off so 119 on the esc 115 on the motor that's perfect y'all that's perfect because it's hot out here today it's like uh <laughs> like 100 degrees here in north carolina so she's running good she's running good no no water in the boat so that's what it is y'all that is what it is it's, i thought well my stuffing tube was leaking for sure but it's this these brackets back here pro boat don't seal them so check it out check it out if you got leaks check it out yeah the left side of the boat was wanting to pick up and i had actually kind of dropped this water pickup down a little bit and I, I noticed that the boat was wanting to kind of pick up on the left side and uh more than it used to so i'm gonna try to get this um water cooling pickup i'm gonna pick it up a little bit out of the water well not out of the water but two millimeters and see if it still wants to pick up right there all right so i don't i don't have the gps in it i took the gps out So yeah, I just kind of picked up this water pickup because it, it looked like it was creating a little bit of drag back there. Let's see if it's still uh, picking up water because I, I moved it up about two or three millimeters. Oh yeah, big time. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I could tell a difference. It was wanting to kind of almost look like it was a torque roll, but it wasn't. It was just from the drag of that water pickup, pickup being too deep into the water. Oh, oh man, damn. Oh, oh man, look at that.
at this. My, whenever I flipped the boat just now, I've got to start taping this thing up for sure. I just cracked my hatch. Oh, that sucks. Always something. Always something. <laughs> yeah, this is medical tape right here. Uh, I got a little bit of boat tape I was saving until they, the hobby shop near me gets some more tape in. But uh, this, you know, bandage tape works pretty good for, for boats. I can't really complain. All right, so let's uh, see how hot she gets. Pretty run boat. Check the temps. One twenty six, one ten. Normally, it would be in the one thirties. Hey, it did work. Cooling plates one hundred one, one twenty three. So it's actually picking up temperature. Uh, from not moving right now so it's actually heat sink it's the heat sinking in so yeah yeah it's actually uh not bad 109 110 operating range you know that's uh that's not bad at all i can't can't complain the darren battery is just as uh hot as the esc so uh so yeah my little cooling plate it does work um, on the video, I actually had the water cooling plate run from the ESC into the plate and back into the ESC. Had a couple comments uh, saying that, um, you know, you want the water to come out the ESC quick as you possibly can. And uh, I didn't really think about that. So I'm glad you guys mentioned that. So I ran the, the cooling plate from the rudder to the plate to the motor and then out. So it's on a separate... Uh, cooling cooling system a dirt cheap cooling mod for your RC boat 200 milliamp 4s pack I taped it up had to tape it up busted the hatch up so let's see how it handles with this setup on it with a 4s pattern handles better on 6s Not as much get up, of course, but she still gets up. 
Man, she, I don't even want to mess with that strut position. It's like perfect. Got cooling coming out both sides. little bit of a catwalk that might be because I got some just that single 4s pack on one side yeah this 438 prop on this boat is like perfect size oh it went through weeds <laughs> Weeds are terrible for your drive system on a boat. Like if you get weeds on it, don't try to clear it out by, with power. Just bring it on in, pick your boat up, and take the weeds off. Because uh, if you try to uh, get the weeds off with power, you know, for giving it trigger, you're gonna uh, you're gonna strip something out for sure. Cable, collet, drive shaft. If the collet slips on the drive shaft on your boat on your motor, you know. Man, she's running better, like better than brand new. Yeah, she's running better than brand new. Might need to go down with that water pickup a little. Oh, it's coming out. Okay. Yeah, with those external pickups, you should definitely like fine tune it. There's a happy medium, you know, find that happy medium and your boat will run, perform excellent. Good water cooling. I'm about to add one to my Delta Force for that cooling plate. Sucking down to the water real good. Man, she's running good, y'all. Alright, so uh so one of the first upgrades for your blackjack 24. I, I would definitely think about upgrading your cable system for sure. Get rid of that old aluminum uh stuffing tube, put you like a point one five oh cable in with a three sixteenth shaft, make it make it a common cable, easier to get a hold of, and the boat performs like a lot better a lot better so uh, let's see what our temps were because I, I ran it pretty good I didn't put a GPS or anything in it I was just running it 114 on the ESC 114 on the motor perfect that's nice nice all right so that's going to conclude the uh blackjack tinker test and tune i just wanted to come out and give the stuffing tube a quick rip make sure everything's working properly and uh next time we'll take it to the big lake and get some numbers try to get some numbers with her i appreciate you guys watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good good ring the bells and all them whistles get notified for future builds future projects as always thank you guys for watching